working with the Scottish Ensemble, this is my first rehearsal or workshop coming into um, the project. And of course with any sort of uh, cross-collaborative projects where you have two genres coming together, it's not as simple as just coming into the room and, and practicing and, and then going back home. With these projects, it's always very important to have plenty of time to get things into the system, into the body, into the ear, into our imagination. So meeting, you know, what are we, four or five months before the actual concert is, is really important. And I'm hoping that between now and the series of concerts, things will percolate and mature. And, um, and then when we come back, we're really uh, in, in a different place, having had these two days to kind of be like sponges and try and absorb as much information as possible. It's a really exciting uh, and I have to say quite daunting challenge. I think Siddharth and Strings is a beautiful, uh, it, it's a beautiful sound. Siddharth is plucked and um, it has resonances and sympathetic strings underneath that ring out and um, and just having strings underneath really help lift and um, kind of uh, develop that sound, I would say. For Scottish ensemble audiences that are used to coming to our concerts, um, I think they can expect to be um, exposed and invited into a, a truly extraordinary musical tradition from the Indian subcontinent. It's a tradition that is that goes back, you know, millennia, and has such high degrees of sophistication, both melodically and rhythmically. I mean, it's, it's an entire different universe of possibilities and beauty and uh, astonishing virtuosity. Um, so, it's yeah, it's a real thrill. I'm, to, to, I'm hoping that people will just be completely uh, awestruck, actually, by the. The beauty and invention and just sheer artistry of these two musicians. For a predominantly Indian classical listening audience, this is um, it's not a bog standard Indian classical concert. Yes, there's Dublin Sitar, but there is also a, str a string um, quintet as well. So the, the tradition of chamber music within Western classical music is is such a rich, nuanced tradition. So it's a real interesting mix of soloist but ensemble but not orchestra. Do you know what I mean? So there's no way to hide. So I, I won't always be playing the solo line. Um, I'll be also part of the ensemble and part of the texture of the thing which doesn't normally happen in an Indian classical concert. It's always just a soloist playing and singing and, and showing off their talents and all of that. And uh, I think it'll be, it's a, it'll be something very very different um, to your bog standard Indian classical concert. We'll see what happens.